Hello everyone, my name is Anna and good morning or good evening wherever you are. My coffee today is almost gone because I have been working almost all morning, cleaning my yard, uh, doing a lot of fall activities that I can do now that the weather is a lot cooler here in Vegas. So for today, I am going to be repotting this aloe. This is an aloe swordfish. So aloes right now are um growing again they became dormant in my climate here in uh, nevada during summer but now that it's cooler they're growing back again and looking um prettier every day so this is my aloe swordfish it is actually in flower the inflorescence is so long it doesn't fit in my camera when i bought this um, it was in a small two inch pot and that was I think a year and a half ago and look at it now I repotted it in a um, three and a half inch pot or four inch pot and yet it has grown so much I'm sure if I repotted this in a bigger pot it would have grown bigger but I'm trying to slow down its growth because I noticed that this hybrid is not like the other hybrid aloes that stay small and compact Looks like this one is going to be a taller aloe. As much as possible, I want this to grow very slow. So uh, try to keep it in a small pot. But it came to the point that uh, it has become too top heavy for this pot. That every time the wind blows, this pot gets knocked down. And that is why I have a, a lot of broken leaves in here. Because every time this would fall, um, the ends of the leaves would break okay so it's time to put this in another pot so the pot that i chose is this one so it's bigger than this pot but not too big and yet this is heavy so hopefully this would support the weight of this aloe so the pot that i will be using has a rather large drainage hole so i'm using this screen to prevent the soil from going through that drainage hole and then I will just fill up the bottom first with soil so this soil that I am using is the same soil that I use for my cactus except I added even more organic material to it um, I would say you can go like for me I go like 70 30 or 60 40 with uh, the organic material being more than the inorganic one because I find aloes like to drink more water at least in my climate so it's it depends on your climate here it's always um, dry even during winter we have a very dry climate so I need a more organic material to hold um, water or to retain water a little bit longer so this is my soil it may look very rich in camera because my soil is wet um, it rained last night but um, I have here potting soil pumice some black lava rocks so that's what's in my soil and I added a little bit of worm casting as well for uh, fertilizer now it's time to get this aloe out of its small pot now let's see if I can do that without having to break this terracotta pot. Oh, oh that was easy. <laughs> I was uh, bracing myself for a hard, harder pull, but that was easy. It came out really well. Maybe it helped that um, my pot was also wet because of the rain last night. So, oh look, lots of roots. Lots of big fat roots so I'm just gonna loosen it a little bit I don't think I will cut off the roots anymore just loosen it to give um, some space inside for the new soil to get in there and for the roots to get uh, easily spread out in its new pot so just a little tap wow this really needed repotting what i like about this aloe is it's the blue green color of its leaves very distinct and then when it gets colder 
and you expose it in sun, the leaves would actually turn a little bit purple. Very nice. That is its stress color. And also the edges. I like the edges of uh, this leaves. So the teeth, look at that. They're big pink or red teeth on the edges. Very distinct. And also this aloe has a very long inflorescence that branches out. Okay, unlike the other hybrid aloes, the small ones, they just have one inflorescence, long inflorescence, but this one, the inflorescence branches out. The leaves also has the white powder or the farina. So when you're handling it, try not to rub off the farina with your fingers because it helps them um, protect. It helps protect the plant from excessive sunlight so that is their um, defense mechanism so try not to rub it off or touch the leaves when you're handling this aloe In terms of care of this aloe, I find this uh, aloe as one of the easiest to take care of. Um, in the summer, I have this in a bright uh, shade or early morning sun position. And then in the winter time, I leave this outside um, unprotected or unheated. So it's not inside my greenhouse. I just overwinter this outside my greenhouse and it was able to tolerate our uh, winter temperatures here which is usually in the 30 degrees Fahrenheit during winter so I find this to be very cold hardy at least in the low 30s and uh, from time to time it would go to the it would go as low as high 20 degrees Fahrenheit here in the in Nevada and it was able to tolerate it as long as um, it's like against a wall protected and um, I think so far all my aloes with a bluish green color, I find them to be more cold tolerant. The other one is the blue elf aloe that also has a bluish green color to its leaves. And it's also very cold tolerant as well as uh, what else? The purple haze. Uh, that's another aloe that also can handle a colder temperature. So I'm not sure but so far. I find that those with a bluish green tint color on the leaves, they're more cold hardy. In terms of watering, I just water my aloes whenever I, I water my cactus. So whenever the soil is dry, that's when I water it. Although I give them um, more water, really I soak the uh, soil, I give them more water than my cactus whenever I water them feeding or fertilizing i fertilize them also the same time as i fertilize my cactus so i would say one in spring and maybe one time th during the end of summer not during summer because that's when they go dormant in my weather so just fertilize them whenever it is their growing season for your climate for me, aloes, they grow during fall and even in winter time, as long as I don't expose them to too cold a temperature, uh, most of my aloes will keep growing even during winter time and spring. So summer is their dormant season here in my climate. For pests, fortunately, I don't usually get pests on my aloes, though they're not immune to it. But uh, one pest that you have to watch out for in aloes is aloe mite because aloe mite will uh, easily spread and kill your entire aloe collection if you don't um, get on top of it right away. So aloe mites, you need miticide to control aloe mites or to kill aloe mites. It is difficult but it is possible. Um, I have a video when one of my aloes had aloe mites. I will put the link up on the screen for you to see how I treated it. Maybe I will make another video showing you my entire aloe collection and I 
made a video on my entire collection about two years ago but it's time to update you guys because i've had new aloes since then and i've lost some as well so probably in the next few weeks i will make another video on my entire aloe collection in terms of propagation of this aloe i am not sure if this aloe will offset so far mine hasn't um, produced any offsets so i don't know maybe by seed <laughs> on how to propagate this uh, we will see if later on as this matures if this will offset if you have this aloe by the way let me know in the comments down below if your um, aloe swordfish produced offsets and if they're bigger than this how much taller will this get i want to know because if this is going to grow into a tree then I think I will have a problem because I don't have a space for a tree aloe. But so far, this uh, size right here is still okay for me. Here now is my newly potted aloe swordfish, which is very long, 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 long in fluorescence. <laughs> so I will not be uh, putting a top dressing on this anymore because I realized that with aloes later on, the rosettes eventually cover the soil. So I will leave it like that for now. All right, if you like this video, guys, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you have this aloe as well. Share your experience with this aloe and please let me know how big this aloe will get because I want to be prepared. <laughs> All right, don't forget to follow me in Facebook, in Instagram, and subscribe to this channel. Until next time, bye guys and cheers.